Hello, welcome to the channel. It's me, Chris Brooks. I hope everyone's keeping well. Ah, uh, sugar. The sweet temptation that keeps us coming back for more. We know it's bad for us, too much of it, and we get a wrath of health problems, ranging from obesity to diabetes. But then there's the alternative, artificial sweeteners, the seemingly better option, or so we think, and one sweetener in particular has been causing quite a stir for decades, aspartame. Aspartame, which was developed in 1965, is 200 times sweeter than sugar, but packs fewer calories. Seems great, doesn't it? Diet sodas, sugar-free gum, low-calorie desserts. Yay, thanks science. But wait, here comes the plot twist. Could this sweetener really be working against us? Like the villain in the superhero movie. You see, scientists have been debating whether or not aspartame have links to cancer. Some studies say possibly, other studies say not so fast! And others say, well, we're not sure yet. The World Health Organization's Cancer Research Division, the IARC, has slapped it with a 2B label, which means potentially carcinogenic to humans. It's the same category as pickled vegetables, so maybe just don't drink nine cans a day. On the other hand, the FDA have said that, hold on, we don't actually think this is too bad. So, who do we trust here? But here's where it gets tricky, because aspartame isn't for everybody. If you have a rare genetic disorder like phenylketonuria or PKU, your body can't produce phenylalanine, one of aspartame's ingredients. In that case, steer clear or risk some serious health consequences. Some people report headaches, digestive issues, or even mood swings after consuming it. So is that just coincidence, or, or is there something more sinister at play? That's the million dollar question, or pounds here, pounds. To be fair, researchers do agree on one thing. Like most things, moderation is key. Overconsumption of anything, whether it's water, sugar, artificial sweeteners, can lead to a plethora of issues from cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and of course, obesity. So perhaps maybe we need to stop eating diet foods and drinks thinking that they're much better for you and actually treat them like you would treat a cake or a proper sugary drink because there isn't really much difference in it. You're just substituting one risk for another. So what's your opinion on aspartame or diet products in general? Let me know in the comments. Look after yourselves. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.